Hello and welcome back. So what I'm going to be showing you today is a few of the features that are going to be in Excel Draw version 5 or at least the features that we are currently working on. And you may notice before I get started that the tab layout has changed a little bit from version 4 to version 5. And the reason for that is because since we've been adding in new features we were trying to restructure the tab layout so we wouldn't have to separate it into two separate tabs. And this is the best layout that we could come up with. So some of the settings that were previously over here have now been moved over to the Extras tab. So all the settings are still there, they've just been relocated somewhere else to consolidate it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, there's two features I wanted to show off today. The first one is this function right here, which has been requested by several several of our customers. And this is a line and point function. So basically it will add a line object and it will also add a point object as well. And it will add them in two separate layers. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. I have some X, Y, Z value right here and I do have Z values included. So I'm going to select Z values included. And then I'm going to click line and point. And as you can see, it will generate a graph for us that will have both lines and points included in the chart. Not only that, it will also have these on separate layers as well. So if I toggle on the layer coloring, you can see it did change. But now I can go to only show selected layers. And if I click that, you can see that there's no more points on there because I have layer zero selected. So if I toggle that down to layer one, you'll see that now there's no line, but there are points. So yes, it will have different layers and it will have points on one layer. It will have lines on the other layer. So it's very helpful as far as that is concerned. Now, the other function that I wanted to show off for you today is the polygon function. And this is something that is new to Excel Draw version 5. And we're still working on uh, getting this implemented. There's still a few things that we want to tweak on it. But I've, uh, I feel that this is at a point where I can start showing it off to our customers. So this is something to look forward to. What we have here, we have the XYZ data points of where it's located at. So it's going to be located at 0, 0, 0. So it's the center point. And it is also going to have a radius of 5. So this is where we want the radius to be. We are going to have it be a uh, five-sided polygon and we're going to have it start at 90 degrees. So that's how this is laid out. XYZ is your starting point. Then you have your diameter, you have your size, and then you have the angle or the degree in which you want it to start at. So let's go ahead and generate that. Select it and then we go over to polygon. And as you can see, we now have a polygon shape right there. Okay. So uh, let's export this to CAD so we can see what it looks like over there. We're going to just save it somewhere, doesn't matter where. And you can't see it on the other screen, but it did just pop up. So yeah, this is what it looks like when it pops up. We'll name it that, export it. And do you want to open? Yes, I do. Okay, so while this is opening up, that is the new features coming into Excel Draw version 5. There are a few more that you can see right here, which I will get into at a different time. But let's bring this over here, zoom that out. And as you can see, we have our points, we have our polygon, and we have our line. And we have two separate layers for each of them. All right, so thank you all very much for watching. I hope that this has uh, helped you. I hope that you enjoy these new features coming out in the future with Excel Draw version 5. If there's anything that you would like to see implemented, please go ahead, leave us a comment, let us know. We always love to hear from our customers. If you'd like to stay up to date with everything that's going on with Great Tech, subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out a lot. And thank you all very much. I hope you have a great rest of your day.